because of injuries. So the pressure falls on Jeanette Antolin and Kate Richardson. But a huge confidence. Alabama. And we join Bruin sophomore Kate Richardson in progress on floor. Very nice front layout, front layout. And uh, Kate might get the award for original choreography here with this routine. A little bit of foreshadowing, I suppose. A few people have asked Val what kind of animal she was trying to portray in this routine. And of course she said, I wasn't trying to portray an animal. Now, what does that look like? She said people have called it the elephant walk, the monkey walk. She says, choreography is an art. Everybody has their own interpretation. All I want to do is capture people's attention long enough to make an opinion. Mission accomplished, Val. One tumbling pass to go. Whip, whip. Through to double pike. Very difficult last pass. And Jamie Dancher, ecstatic. Jamie, one of several seniors on the UCLA squad. And Jamie and Jeanette Antolin have kind of passed the torch along to Kate, who will be, without question, a team leader next year for UCLA and has even become one this year. And a 9-9-5 for Kate Richards. Kate Richardson up on vault for UCLA. Kate, a member of the 2000 Canadian Olympic team and continues to train with the hopes of making this summer's games in Athens. Yurchenko full, beautiful body position, slight hop on the landing, but the vault itself was gorgeous. Kate has become physically and mentally buff with all the extra training. She does an hour of extra conditioning a day to try to keep up to speed for her elite routines. And a 9-9 for Kate Richardson, who was one of Val's teachers, mentors, and one of the Bruins' most die-hard gymnastics fans. Kate Richardson, the 2003 NCAA Bars champion, affectionately known as Peanut by her teammates. Kate came out of her shell, though, as a freshman to share top honors with Jamie Dancher to claim the national title last year as a freshman. only a sophomore representing the future of the Bruins with Antolin and Dancher and Tusek moving on. She has beautiful form on this event. Nice to catch up. Kate along with Yvonne Tusek. The two Bruins on the 2000 Canadian Olympic team as well as Utah's Veronique LeClaire. Double layout, a little bit short on the landing, had to take a pretty big step there, but overall a nice routine. Well, Mom and Dad, Charlie and Sarah, will certainly be forgiving. The judges, probably not so much. Well, let's take another look at the dismount right here. Not quite enough lift off the bar. A little bit short on the landing, and of course, had to take that pretty big step to stay on her feet. And Kate Richardson's score, one of the few Bruins. And so far, they have. Let's see if Kate Richardson can pull her weight. right off here, stepping down into a layout, layout. Beautiful job. She's so elegant and fun to watch. She makes everything she does look so easy. Amanda, where do you see this UCLA team ranking among the championship teams? Well, by far, and even after talking to Suzanne Yachlin, the head coach of Georgia, she said this is the best collegiate team she's ever seen. Like you mentioned, they're stacked with Olympians, national champions, and that's what makes them so consistent and so good at handling this kind of pressure. And that's high praise from Yachlin, whose Super 6 squad graduating this year brought in five national team members. And at that time, that was considered the best recruiting class ever. Solid landing by sophomore Bruin Kate Richardson, staying on pace with the rest of her teammates on beam. Richardson's 9-9-5 helps UCLA edge closer and closer to that team championship record. 